Welcome to Lawrence High School. This is Ms. Ovopian's class. And we're studying engineering. <laughs> okay, you all have the do now in front of you. And this is picking up on a lesson that we started the other day. So this is day two of our lesson. So if we, everyone had a chance to look up at the board or the screen. Hi, Christian. Come on in. Come on in. Um, you can see that there's something happening. There's motion happening. And I wanted you to on your do now, and you can just describe it, or you can draw it, or write it down. Um, something that is a real world object which has one motion that causes another motion. So there's two motions. And I gave you the example of those two motions up there. What, what is that? What are we looking at? Yeah. Say that nice and loud. A sewing machine. A sewing machine. And what is the sewing machine doing? Right now it's supposed to be sewing, whatever it is. Like it does. Right, it's fake sewing, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, and what motions do you see? If you... Good, rotary. And what else? Nice. Rotary. rotary. What's doing the rotary motion? What's that thing? That? Going up and down. It's called a bobbin, right? That thing that goes around that's underneath the sewing machine. Yeah. And then what's on top? The needle. Okay, nice. So I know that we all know this, okay. and we're getting, we're shy. Thank you. Your contribution is excellent today. And hold on, let's give other people a chance to contribute. Okay. Thank you, Elijah. Okay, so what is that needle doing? Can you put that away, please? Thank you. What is the needle doing? What's the needle doing? What motion is that? Don't even worry about the fancy word. Just show, what is it doing? Mm -hmm. Is it going side to side? Up and down. No. It's going Open up down. and down. Okay, so then look at your desk, look at your QR codes, and do you remember what motion that is? Linear. Ah, reciprocal, nice. But it's not linear because why? Linear only moves what? Side to side. Linear, think about a train. Straight. Just forward, just straight in one direction. Nice job. Okay. So, by the end of today, I want you to just work on this and think about something else real in this world. I'm going to give you some more examples that has more than one motion. And then in a minute, you're going to see how it ties into the lesson. Okay. <clears throat> Name the double motion. So, there's two motions there. Let's not be shy. Just shout it out. Rotating. Yes. Rotating to what? To the right. Right. And what's the other um, left. gear doing? Clockwise. Okay, and are clockwise. they both what? What's the motion both of them have? Rotating. Okay, so we can say rotating. Good. Yeah. Oliver, yeah. to rotating. Nice. Okay, what is the double motion here? Double motion. Nice and loud. Back and forward. We have rotating. What's rotating? The, the wheels. wheels. Nice job. The wheels to what? What direction is that bike going? Forward. 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 Use those words in the QR code. Linear. Linear. Rotary. Nice job. So we have a rotary to linear. Nice job. What are the two motions here? Let's hear from somebody up here on this table. What motion do you see? Rotary. Okay. So what's rotoring? What's rotating? Right. Nice. Jane says the hands on the clock are rotating. And then what's happening with that cattail? Oscillating. Describe what oscillating means. Just describe the motion of oscillating. Back and forth. Thank you. Back and forth. Okay. And I thought this was really clever. This is an engineering design by another student. You guys all have these gaming things. Okay. So what are the motions that are happening there? Um, as he turns the wheel, the joystick is moving. Okay. So Christian said as he turns the wheel. So what, now I initially, when I looked at that, I thought it was rotary. What motion is that actually? Nice job, oscillating, why? 
Right, right, it's going back and forth. It doesn't go completely in a 360. Good job. And then, nice question. Who else wants to talk that hasn't talked yet? What is it doing over on the left to that joystick? Repeating. It's, it might be hard to see. So we have somebody who says rotating and somebody says that reciprocal. So why would it, why are you saying rotating or rotary? What does rotary need to do? Go all around. Right. Right. Nice job. And so is that going all around in a circle? No. It's going up and down or kind of left to right. So what would that motion be? That could be either oscillating or reciprocal. Okay, nice. Beautiful job contributing. Okay, and those who haven't, I'm coming after you. Okay, one more thing. Here's a birdie. Give me two motions. Linear. Linear. Go ahead, Stephen. I haven't heard from you yet. Nice and loud. Linear and oscillating. Uh, linear and oscillating. So what's oscillating? Uh, the wings are going back on up and down. So the wings are oscillating and the bird's traveling. Linear. Nice job. See, we're good. Now I'm coming after this table because I haven't heard from you two yet. Go ahead from me. Ready? Or maybe I heard from Oliver. Okay, and a lot of you mentioned this, the Newton's cradle the other day. Now, this actually has three motions or two minus one. What is this doing? It's definitely oscillating, right? We have that swinging motion, nice. But how is that energy going from one ball, skipping over three, and going to the last one? The pressure. How? The pressure. Say that nice and loud. The pressure. Say it one more time. Depression. Depression? Depression. The pressure. No, the pressure, good. And another name for pressure is starts with an F. When we talk about physics and we talk about engineering. Force. Yeah, force. Good. So the force of one ball transfers the energy to the motionless balls, they're really supposed to be motionless, to the other, but they were both in oscillating. Okay, nice job, but why would I teach you all of this today? Because we're going to learn about, I mean, we're going to do... You got it. Just use regular words, you don't have to get fancy. We're definitely working on it, Oliver. You got that part right. So you guys are going to continue today with your wind-up toys, and you're going to still discover motion. But what I realized is when we left off is that most of you identified one or maybe two motions, and yet a lot of your little wind-up toys, automatons, is that word maybe you were looking for, Oliver, um, is have more than one motion. And in fact, like one motion is connected to another and connected to another. And when we make our own automaton, or more than one automata, you have to identify <coughs> motions that you want it to have. Okay, so today's lesson, by the way, I'm dedicating to um, Walter, I think you pronounce it Brathwaite. Um, he's an engineer from Jamaica. He's one of the inventors of CAD. That's what we use when we use our Onshape. Um, he actually created a system in CAD for airplanes for Boeing, um, and he's a former executive of Boeing. And he received a huge award called the Black Engineer of the Year and Pathfinders Award. And on the side he, time, he did um, YMCA volunteering. Okay, so I thought it would be a great way to dedicate during Black History Month this lesson. Okay, who wants to read the target for us? Nice and loud. Maybe Christian B. Nice and loud. You're right there and I'll come over to you. We will reverse engineer a wind-up toy to identify how motion is transferred through its system. Beautiful. And so let's break that down. If we're unpacking that, what does reverse engineering mean? We take apart. Okay, why do we take things apart? Say that nice and loud. It's great. Yeah, figure out how it works, solve problems, improve the product, curiosity, for fun, nice. We already talked about motion. What do I mean by a system? What's a system's input? I haven't heard from you guys. Hold on. They thought they were getting away without saying anything. What's a system's input? You have a gaming controller and you push on what? A button. 
and then the output is it moves. It moves something in the game. Good job. All right, so we are looking at our wind-up toy system. We're discovering its motion as you reverse engineer it. So you started this the other day. Um, today we're going to finish observing what we do when we reverse or disassemble it. We're going to present the different types of motion that's transferred through it. And then you guys are going to present it probably either not today, but maybe when we get back together Monday. Okay, so this is our agenda. We already did our do now. Um, I just explained to you what's going to happen. We're going to um, finish the disassembly. The hot glue guns are set up around the room, so just be careful, please, because a lot of them are still plugged in. Um, you are going to label all parts once you disassemble and mount your pieces onto the, uh, onto the cardboard. If you need an example, there are student examples that are up on that board. Um, I'm not going to call them exemplars, they're just student examples to show you what other students in other classes have done to describe the motion of their disassembled wind-up toy. Okay, uploading all of that to Google Classroom. It's under lesson three, it's called motion. And then you're gonna practice as a group presenting. Any questions about that? No questions? You can ask questions later too. Okay. So you know this is all leading to one thing, which is in a few weeks, good morning, um, we're going to be making our own automata. All right, so this is our motion study before we build it so that we know what kind of motion we want our automata to have. All right, I'm going to just rest it on, I want to rest it on that slide so we can get a little inspiration together today. I'm going to pass these out and come around and see how everybody's doing, okay? Any questions, just let me know. Uh, what do you think it's going to do? Yeah? What do you think it's going to do? It's going to oscillate in the air. Let's go to the side, right? Let's go to the center. I need the other one. What is that? Let's go to the side. Let's go to the center. 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 Let's go to the
Wanda. Now you have me thinking. Okay, it moves in a linear motion. Also, when the toy is moving, the arms move in a reciprocal motion. This is beautiful work. And so now the next step I want you to do after you get it all up to Google Classroom and you start to think about presenting it is I want you to think about what motions you want your automata to have. And who even knows what that's going to be yet. Right? Maybe it will be that Mario and Nintendo, Nintendo and it will be a ship or something. But starting to think about how this, which is beautiful work, is going to translate to your automata on automata. Okay? Nice job. Is this all up in Google Classroom now? No, we still have right. to put the video in this. Do it. And you have one of the creative videos, right? Yeah, Jace made it. Okay, good. Extra points. Thanks, Jace. Jace, thank you for being the manager of the Hockey Guns. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Very good. Okay, so let's think about responsibilities of a group. So you did the video. You did the dis. You both did the disassembly. Yeah. You glued it. You're doing the labels. And so once it's all goes up to Google Classroom, think about maybe both presenting it. So what do I mean by that? Who's going to present? Okay. What does that mean? I'm going to present. Okay, good. <laughs> I like that. All right. Um, what kind of motions did you... You, didn't, you had one that didn't have a lot of motions. Not as many as some of the others. So what motion did that, it was a, describe that to me, what was that? Uh, reciprocal, like uh, we're doing it uh, part, part by part, you know what I mean? And this one has a reciprocal motion because it goes open. Okay, so show me with your hand how that jaw works. Like, Okay, good, nice. Any other motions? Uh, this one has no motion because it's just uh, support these two parts right here. And uh, this one, too, this one has a reciprocal motion because it goes like that. Beautiful. What about those feet? Um, same, and, and it, can, it might be linear because it goes straight. Okay, so the input to the crank had an output which was a linear direction. And how do those feet work? You can show me with your hands. So, what's that, like a hopping motion? Yes. Okay, did they go up and down at all? Up and down. Okay, down. so what What would that be? What motion would that be? Reciprocal. Yeah, I reciprocal. think that's reciprocal too. Yeah. So you had two reciprocals. Did you have any rotary motion? No, what? Rotary. Rotary. Uh, Do you remember what rotary is? Like... Uh, going all the way right. around. Beautiful. Does anything go around on that? Yeah, this. Okay, great. And that's the, the crank or, or the handle for that, right? Nice job. Okay, so your automaton is definitely going to have that piece to it. It's going to have, and a lot of motions start in rotary and, and end up in linear. So that was spot on. Nice. Good work together. I broke it. That's okay. You're supposed to break it. Don't get attached. That's what the oath was all about. I will not get attached to my wind-up toy. You're supposed to break it or disassemble it. You actually want me to break it? I do. Go for it. You can do it, Joshua. Would you like um, some pliers? If you break, if you disassemble that part, you'll be the only person who opened up that gear system. Yeah, but if I break, I'm not going to know how to put it back together. But you don't have to put this back together. You don't? Nope. Oh, I just, dis need to, I just need to disassemble it? Just to disassemble it this time. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get you some tools. Wait, what else are we right? You wrong, you finished? Yeah, I did. Just the right place. Oh, yeah. The right place. Oh, come on, right there. Hey, what's the motion? Yeah, this is. The motion is done here, right here, too? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, read, I draw the motion, right? Uh -huh. No, this thing. No, carry. All right. That's it, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, we're going to
Acá no, ven, ¿sabes? I'm gonna take a picture. Let me see. Let me take a picture of the thing. Yo, Alberto, you take a picture. And then I'll go to the Let me see. Let me see. You guys are sharing this paper. Everyone has a job. Who did this? Okay, so if you did the sketching and you're just disassembling, what are you gonna do? Get that inside? You're gonna hot glue it. Okay? So if you're really lucky because you're right next to the board and it gives you examples of what other students have done, what kind of what was this by the way? Poor thing. Did that to the monkey? Okay. What kind of movement did the monkey have? Okay, why? Tell me, explain. Because when you just had move like that, it was broken a little bit, and it was just moving in a straight line, so it was linear. Okay, so when you turned the handle, it moved in a straight line, so I agree, that's linear. Okay, I'm going to challenge you a little bit on the head. Show me the movement with your hand again. Okay, rotary goes with 360 degrees. Think about the tires of a bike or a car. Wilson, is that moving in 360 degrees if it's going like this? No. No, okay. Think about something else that we talked about that goes like this. Yes, hold on to that thought. That's a good thought. Nice, good use of the words. Wilson, I don't know if you were here for that part of the lesson. So it's oscillating. Okay, so oscillating is one that swings back and forth. So now thinking about the movement of the head, which motion do you think it makes? Okay, and can you say that word for me too again? Good job. And now let's go back to your thought about the wheels. The wheels move in three sixty when they turn to make this move more linear for its rotary. Nice. So you do have rotary, you have a linear, and and you can add one now to it. This wheel don't want to come on. Come on, Wilson. I know you have strength. Do it. You can break it. That's why we took the oath, not to get attached. You know, actually, if you don't want to break it, you can show it, you can mount it just like that because it's a really beautiful way of depicting how everything's attached. So you can mount it on the board just like that. Let's just stop for a second. Do we have any other motion? Because I'm looking at this, which is that's why we took this, right? I mean, that's why we drew these, and I'm seeing a tail. Did the tail do anything? I thought it moves the same way as the head. Yeah, it Okay, and so how, as a leg? No, as a head. As a head, and so what motion is that? Is that rotary? Think about it. That's uh, so oscillating. Do you agree? Why would it be oscillating? Because the same movement as the head. Which is? Oscillating. Show me. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful. Good. Nice way to work together on that. I'm very happy. Any other motions? Did anything move on that thing? Other than the head and the wheels and the tail? Um, the gears. Yes, the gears move too. That's fine. Yes. So these are called exploded views, and we try to keep the parts as close together as we can as they were disassembled. So that's perfect. So in an exploded view, so the person who doesn't know about this toy, they would know more about it if you keep the pieces together, so you put the screws next to the areas where they were taken apart, taken off. Yep. No. That sketch. Yes. Okay. Just take a look, get your camera on, hold it up in front of the camera and do it. That's the easier way to do it. No, don't worry about that. Just write the material. What's it made out of? Plastic. Good. What color is it? And yes, colorful blue, primary colors, orange. Right, you're doing a visual, that's a visual analysis. You're analyzing it before you take it apart. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
That's actually really important. Let's call it a crank or a handle. Uh -huh. Okay, and what does it do again? Like expansion. What's the motion of it? Oh, okay. Okay, and what does it do? It winds up the toy okay. for it to work. Okay. If you don't do it, then it doesn't work. This is the input and the output is that it moves. Beautiful. Okay, now go ahead. Connect to that. When it's winded up, it moves. This oscillates, or this moves up and down oscillates. Back and forth, it's oscillating this way and that way, and this one just oscillates up and down, while the path goes linear. I, okay, so, okay, so I, I'm going to test you a little, I'm going to push you a little bit on that. So beautiful, the crank or the handle is in a rotary motion and it's attached to the mechanism of the legs and the legs move in an uh, oscillating position because they're going back and forth like that swing. Good. And then I want to challenge you a little bit on that. So the top's going up and down, up and down. Is that the same motion as going side to side? Or is it a different motion? Excuse me? I think it's a different motion. What do you guys think? Yeah. So if you were to look at those four motions that are at the table, and which one would best describe an up and down motion? Reciprocal. Nice. Do you agree? Yeah. I agree. Okay, does it have any other motions? What's that? Does it know what's doing here? No, no, no. Okay, so the moving part. You identified all the moving parts. You know how they connect. And you, good. Nice yeah. job. Good, good, good. Oscillating. Okay, good. And so what, did, what do you think about the tail? Yes, that was also oscillating. Nice job. And then what about the wheels? All right, so you're rotating, oscillating, oscillating. Anything else that moved on that thing? Okay, that's it. Just describe that in summary right there. Start writing it and don't burn yourself. Unannounced character of Splatoon. So we had a narrative around this. I love it. It moves back and back and forth, oscillating good. I was going to yell at you. I was getting ready for you to yell because you didn't use the name of these words. Also, it moves me back and forth good. But what do we say? Inside middle. Okay, good. Oh, look at that. You even have like arrows for the motion. I love that. Beautiful. Okay. And some people actually took this whole crank system apart to see how the gears worked and everything because you're going to be doing that when you make your automaton. Oh, I'm not sure why the phones are out. Not sure why the phones are out. Oh, that's good. Oh, thank you. All right, good. Thanks for clearing that up with me.